hold up. Bro, is it yeah. time to tear up the this current Bull squad? It is time to tear up this this um current Bulls roster right now. You know what? At the end of the day, and I said this, um, even when they got DeMar DeRozan, DeMar DeRozan was playing his ass off last year. Yeah, he was. The Bulls aren't going to do anything. The Bulls, if anything, were going to be a good regular season team. Uh, they weren't going to do anything in the playoffs, and they showed they didn't do anything in the playoffs. Right. They're not going to go far. I'm sorry, Bulls fans. You're going to hear it now, and you're hearing it first. You're hearing it, not first, but you're hearing it for the last time. DeMar DeRozan is not your answer. It's it was, the, it was never your answer. It's not the last time. Now, it, he balled out. Don't oh, get he me balled, wrong. He oh. balled out that last season. He's still kind of balling out this season. He really is. As you checked earlier, he's averaging 26 right now. About right? 26 a game, yeah. Man, but he, he is not your savior. So you t- you expected DeMar DeRozan, especially in the beginning of last season when all that hype was around him. He was balling out. Right. Oh, the Bulls are going to make the Eastern Conference Finals. They're going to make the Finals. Right. I looked and saw that Bulls team, and I was like, DeMar DeRozan. This is the same DeMar DeRozan. <laughs> That was on the Spurs team. That who knows what happened. Maybe it was um, the the co- the coaching there. Maybe it was the, his play of style with this play style of the Spurs and didn't work out. Right. Uh, but the same Demar Derozan that played for those Raptor teams that got eliminated by LeBron over and over and over again. Those Raptor teams that had great regular seasons and didn't do anything in the playoffs. The same Demar Derozan that man- managed to vanish in the playoffs, like Kyle Lowry did too as well. You expected that to be your savior? No. They're, they're, that, <laughs> that 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 team's done. It's time to dismember this Bulls team. DeMar DeRozan's what, 32, 33? He's a little bit up there in age. You're not going to get much out of him. Right. If I'm the Bulls GM, what I would do personally right now, take his value, what it is right now, because it's capped out. His value is capped out. Mm. Trade it away. Zach Levine, he's not your answer to. I do like Zach Levine. He's having a good year. But I don't believe he's going to be your answer whatsoever unless you keep him around as a secondary star. Maybe even then a secondary star. Right. Um, I like Alex Caruso because he pl- not only does he make great plays. Caruso, he plays- go. Come on, baby. <laughs> he plays fantastic defense and right. he's a hustler. Mm-hmm. I would definitely keep him around. Lonzo Ball, in my opinion, is not your answer either. Aside from the the good defense he plays. I mean, do I want my fo- do I want my poor card and really focus on defense or give me both defense and run that po- and run that team? You know, run the ball, move the ball around, and get uh-huh. it all to the, everyone in their spots. Blow it up. That's my call. Sorry, Chicago Bulls. You guys are. It's done, man. Let's just re. Let's get into a rebuild mode. I mean, it's sad to say, but this uh, team's not going anywhere. Damn, already he's asking for the rebuild already. Give him the Shit. rebuild mode, man. Again, Demar Derozan's not your answer. Uh. Zach Levine's not your answer. You know, um, I mean, that's just that's what I think. I think the Bulls, in my opinion. If you were to keep this this roster right now, right. you need that one big megastar. Again, we look at DeRozan. He's uh-huh. not your megastar. You know, the, the Bulls fans act like he's the megastar. He's not your megastar, bro. He's going to disappear in the playoffs, come around playoffs time. Okay. Um, if, the, if you want my opinion, the Bulls to make it work right now, yeah. obviously, no injuries. But on top of that, you need to sign a big star. Hmm. Get yourself hmm. someone like a Kevin Durant. Get yourself someone like a Giannis. Not saying that you're gonna get him. Don't get excited <laughs> there. It's like that's the kind of caliber player you need. Right. And with the team, I could see them going far. So but, dismember it, pull the trigger, and throw the bomb in there. Just let it blow up. So blow it up. Go get a big star, and try to figure something out. Right. Exactly, man. Exactly. Damn, that's 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 a, that's that's interesting. It's a lot of work, but it's interesting. It is yeah. a lot of work. Don't get me wrong. No, definitely. Um, Cause you, I mean, look, let's let's look at it like this, man. You're talking about blowing up. This squad that regular season last year were they had a good shows throughout the East. Okay, they were very entertaining. I'm not even gonna lie. And I'm, and I'm you know again not a big Bulls uh, Bulls fan, but I am a basketball fan. You know I'm true to the game type of thing. And you know DeRozan was balling out, Caruso was balling out, Lonzo was playing that defense that we know he can play. His points, you know, he was mid, which is what we expected. And of course, like Zach Levine, it's his team, and he's. You is know. it his team though? I mean, I that's mean, hey, the, I mean, hey, that's what they told fans, him. It's it's his team uh-huh. or it's DeRozan's. Team hey, at bro, this point. he listened to the GM. The GM said, "This is your team. <laughs> we traded. We got these people here for to play with you. You know, maybe and maybe that got to his head a little bit because I know he's not seeing eye to eye." Yeah, with the team right now, but you know, I think he needs to get out of his own head and remember this is a team sport. Yeah. You know, you gotta make it work with who you're playing with. You know, I know the guys are gonna bump heads as we saw, you know, in the past years, especially more recently. Draymond with the with Jordan Poole there when he sucker punched him, 
You know, but again, that's the Warriors. We're talking about the Bulls right now. You say blow it up. I say, you know, fix what you have. You have something that, you know, you you are a good season basketball team. Playoffs. I fixable, though. Oh, I think it's fixable. I think, oh. and that's the thing, so though. if you were the GM, what would you do right now? The GM, what I would do is, like, I would honestly have the players get together. You guys are gonna have to go ahead and lock room, get your player meeting on, see what's well, going on. What I mean, like, but it's fixable and, right no, now. It's to, fixable to, to make a push for a championship. Championship, I will make the necessary moves to get either another twenty point plus player who is actually gonna act, you know, that and has that veteran presence. Okay. In playoffs, but I would try to keep this starting five. Maybe I could sacrifice one or two players. Yeah. You know, I'm looking. I'm probably, to be honest, I'll probably be looking at to get rid of, um, um, uh, Lonzo, uh, yeah, ball. I would Lonzo ball out of there, man. Give Lonzo ball maybe a first round pick or second round pick, whatever you know you have from the trades that they made to get him a star who's been in the playoffs. I ain't say he got to be a, a major star, but a good, a good star that's there and you know, act. As that big brother role for a lot of these players. Because let's be honest. Um, Zach Levine's still young. You think you got the big bro- oh, brother player. He's like 28 now. He, if I'm not mistaken. But he's still thinking like he's a. Like you know. He's a. A, a, yeah, a yeah, rookie yeah. to the game. Or a rookie to the team. You know what I mean. Like oh this is my team. I got it. Yeah. But you got to understand too. His mentality doesn't show it. Yeah. His get, level of play. And his mentality are two different things. You know what I mean? And just some maturity because he needs that to be around. Fucking Cruz go. The man's quiet. He's just there to play. <laughs> Let's yeah, be he's honest. There he's there to, there to play. He's like, I'm here to fly, have eagle sounds, go off whenever he jumps. You yep. know what I mean? And the Rosen, and, and we've seen it with the Rosen before. And, he, and he's kind of, um, and he's kind of spoken to it, you know, especially when he left, well, when he got traded from Toronto to San Antonio. That you know he he f- he felt some type of way type of thing. Now, if you know, I feel like he's missing that someone to tell him, like, look, don't trip. This is part of the business, which I know he knows is part of the business. And you know, like you you pretty much gotta understand this is how it's gonna go. I think he needs somebody to. He still needs that guidance, believe it or not. At his at his age, his time in the league, he still needs that guidance, and I think he's been looking for that. For a while now, too. Because let's face it, I know, I know, we always like to talk shit about him and Kyle Lowry when they're around Toronto. But let's face it, they they kind of lean in on each other. You're saying he's still need he needs still needs guidance. Yeah, bro, he still needs guidance. He's a 32 year old vet, bro. You know what how many guidance does he need, bro? Hey, don't forget when he was balling out last season. He Everyone was. looked at him like the man. Everyone he, looked yeah. at him like he was playing and, like a Kevin Durant. Hey. What guidance would a man like that need? He's a 32-year-old vet. He's been to the playoffs. Uh-huh. He has experience. Right, right. He's taken his team to the Eastern Conference Finals uh-huh. once, if I'm not mistaken, with the Raptors. Once. What, what, what more What more guidance does he need? You said it yourself. He chokes. Well, he does choke. He chokes. Like, he needs that. He, let's, let's be honest, Bulls, and anyone who's watched the Rosen play, he's not that guy. I won't. I'm not going to discredit what he's done, right. but he's not that guy. He needs that guidance still. Let's face it, the trade from Toronto to San Antonio, that took a lot out of him. That's why he wasn't playing the yeah. in San Antonio well, because yeah. it took a lot out of him. Yeah. Even though I know, you know, uh, uh, Popovich tried to say, you know, he tried to be there for him, but still, it wasn't that. It's just he well, was. The big question: dissemble him? You think it's fixable? It's fixable. It's fixable. It's fixable, honestly. I say pull that trigger and, well, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see, though. We will it's see. interesting season. We've still got a lot of things the season. We're not even halfway there. Hell no. Uh, but, I mean, as far as the Bulls, I don't know. Bulls fans, let us know what you guys think, man. Let us know in the comment section down below. Do you think it's time to assemble this team? Do you think it's time to, do you think it's possible to still, you know, kind of get in there and make some tweaks and try to make a push for a run? Because let's be honest. I mean, at this point where the career, where the Bulls stand, yeah. they're pushing for a chip. The, the roster they have right now, they're they have it. Chip. Yeah, yeah, they have it. There's no way they built that roster saying, yep, in two or three years, we're going to win a chip. No, no, no. It's no. to build for now. For now, exactly. Exactly. And, and so, they just need that one more key piece. One more key piece. I agree with you there, 100%. Yeah. 
Uh, but he want to blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comment section down below. Aside all that, though, you yes. already know. Hit that like button mm-hmm. down below. Aside from that, hit that subscribe button. And more importantly, hit that notification button so you know when we're posting these videos up as well. Exactly. Um, until then, I mean, we'll catch you next time. Hey, Peace. Hey, we out.